Hey everybody, good to see you again. Today's video is going to be a shave haul. So I've been looking at getting some products from Sterling Soap Company for a little while now. There has been a lot of reviews, a lot of my friends had given them good props. So I figured, hey, you know what? There's a few things that I wanted to get and I might as well get some soaps while I'm at it. So today's video is gonna be a, a shave haul from Sterling. So. I have the box, which is absolutely full of stuff. The first thing that we picked up is a fairly new product. And if you guys have not watched them yet, uh, Jimmy D, I think it is, Jimmy D Wet Shaver, uh, used to be Politics and Shaving, but uh, he had one of these and he and I had communicated back and forth a little bit. He said that it was well worth it. And I watched some other videos and there was some uh, good feedback. So. I got a collapsible bowl in blue color. Now this comes in different colors, but we'll just pop it down, right? There you go. It's got the agitators in the bottom. And the reason why I wasn't sure if I would like it is because they stick up pretty far. Let me fold this back up, right? So here it is flat and you can see how big those agitators are. And I'm like, well, is the brush really gonna do good? Is the soap gonna be, so far down in there that the bristles aren't going to get it, but uh, we'll give it a try. It was pretty inexpensive, and I love the collapsible piece of it. Fits good in the hand, so uh, it's travel worthy. Has some deep walls in case you like to build a good lather, so we're going to use that in an upcoming shave for sure. And I'm running low on my styptic pencil. Uh, it broke in half, so I picked up a, a sterling uh, alum block. So this is the small one. It's the, uh, I thought it said it on here. Uh, it's the smaller one, 45 grams, but uh, there's, there's two sizes. This is the travel size and it's a, a hypoallergenic uh, alum block. So I have that. And in case you guys don't have one of these, they work the same as the septic pencil. And they come in a, a travel container. So here's the travel container. And this has a little uh, lock on the front. I don't know if you can see that. You just flip that up, opens right up, and then it's a little case. So uh, it's just a, looks a little bit larger than an ice cube. And it just goes in there, you let it dry, good for travel. All right, so that is the Allen block. And I wanted to get some of this stuff. Now, this is a one fluid ounce bottle of frost drops. Now what this does is, it's, it's, got, it's a menthol additive. So you put a few drops in whatever soap or cream you're using and it automatically gives you that chilling feeling because it's, it's menthol drops. If you like it really cold, you can add a few extra drops. If you like just a touch, a couple drops, I think once you reach a certain point, it won't get any colder, so it'd just be wasted liquid if you just keep putting drops in there. I don't know. So anybody watching the video, if you like to have things really cold, like Arctic Freeze or some of those soaps that are out there, uh, you know, let me know. Leave a note in the comments if, uh, if adding more just is a waste of liquid or if it really makes it colder. Because you're not going to get frostbite from it. It's not going to get that cold. You want to get really cold, right? Just go outside here in my front yard and do a shave outside and that'll be cold. <laughs> All right. So we also picked up some scents and with the scents, I got the one ounce travel, um, not travel, uh, trial uh, pucks. And I bought containers and waterproof labels for each of the pucks. So here's the first one, and I put the label on. So there's there's no name here, it's just a plain label, that's the way it comes. And you could write your own uh, soap name on there. I, I didn't write anything on there. Um, and this is a three and a half ounce tub, I believe is what it is. And it's got some pretty decent walls. And these are, they're all green, and there's a twist top. So they're good for travel. And here is the first trial puck that I got. Hot apple cider. Mmm. And it smells, smells like apple cider. It really does. And uh, it's a tallow-based 
lanolin and shea butter soap. So it's not real thick, right? But uh, this should be good for quite a few shaves. And as you can see here, it does fit perfect in this bowl. In fact, they said that these bowls, this, these must be four ounce bowls, because they said that the four and a half ounce puck that Sterling sells will fit into this also. Uh, now you won't have really any room for lather, it'll just you know, flow over the sides because it fills up the whole thing. Uh, if you get the six ounce tub, then, uh, then they'll have a little room for lathering, but you get the full size puck with those. Uh, so hot apple cider. And then this one, same thing, right? Another tub, plain label. This one, oh, I can't, I think I am going to do a Christmas shave because this one is called Christmas Eve. And uh, if you guys have real trees or you like the scent of, um, you know, uh, pine or, or, you know, Christmas trees, this is, this smells fantastic. So there's a second sampler. Third sampler, this one, mmm, it's like a bag of oranges. Orange chill. Now, in the small size, they did say that it does come with the menthol already, so I can use the menthol drops and add a little bit more if I want, but uh, this should be exciting. I do like a nice, cool uh, shave, and the menthol drops will give me that, but I heard a lot about the orange chill. I love oranges, so... I'm looking forward to this. If this works out, I'm probably going to get the larger uh, soap puck. All right, last one, fourth one. This one is, uh, mm, I love these, black cherry. Now this smells like Mr. Pepper that I got from the West Coast Shaving, which is the, uh, uh, the exclusive uh, Mr. Pepper soap that they had created. But... Uh, this smells like black cherry. The other one smells like Dr. Pepper, which has cherry in it, but the fizz and all. So slightly different, but uh, I love the smell of, of black cherry. All right, so there are the four samples and the four containers. And I also picked up uh, five milliliter bottles of aftershave to go along with the pucks. So this is, if I can show it to you, I believe that's black cherry. Yep. Here is the orange chill. And then, of course, I have the uh, Christmas Eve and the hot apple cider. So there are those. So I'm going to have that. And then uh, Rod and Mandy had threw in uh, just a special thank you for ordering from them. So I have sheep bath soap. This is just a small uh, trial size piece of soap. So thank you guys for including that. I'm sure that uh, my wife will enjoy using that soap. Maybe even I would like to use the soap. But that's it for the shave haul today from Sterling. I wanna thank everybody for taking the time to watch the videos. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't forget, I am doing all of my shave videos on MC Shaving now. So uh, there are gonna be some videos on my Magboy Creations channel and I have a special shave coming up that I'm gonna put on that channel as well. Uh, but pretty much all the rest of the shave videos, including the rest of my Shave America series, will be exclusive to this channel. And if you're not already a subscriber, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you are, thank you very much. And make sure that you pass the word and share this with your friends. Let them know, hey, if they're into wet shaving, they can come here, get some points, and uh, hear some reviews on different products. So I wish you guys a good holiday. We got Christmas coming up in like a week and a half. So if you're not already done shopping, I'm sure that you're gonna be running around like a crazy person doing that. We got the decorations up. We got the lights outside. We got the party reservations already done. We have the invitations out. We also have the Christmas cards sent. The tree is up and the fireplace is roaring and this house smells like a big giant cookie because we've been baking cookies. So. If I'm not filming, I'm probably eating. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm rambling. So thanks again. We wish you well, and we'll talk to you soon in the next video. Take care.